Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee and I just have a project share that I wanted to show you. It is my Virgin Mary prayer book that I'm going to gift. There's so many people I know that would want this and that would love it. I love it and so I am trying to figure out who would get it but the, it's no problem because they're images from Pixie Dust Files on Etsy and I can run this as many times as I want and run the copies. So anyway, I added uh, lace and there is three layers of lace right here. I wanted the pink to bounce off the pink and the roses. So um, it's so easy to make uh, a journal from Pixie Dust Files because all you have to do is cut it ink it and put it together she she just makes it so easy she makes me look like a professional <laughs> and I just add my own lace so there's the lace on the back side <clears throat> here's a tuck spot that I made here's some tags that go with it I didn't even print on the back because I want them to write notes if they want to here's a bookmark and the cover is hard, not hard, but heavy duty linen cardstock, white that's been printed on both sides. The inside, other than two uh, pages, is all just copy paper printed on both sides. So let's just go through it real fast. But in those, the images are just so pretty. And here is where I put two pieces of cardstock, the linen cardstock, and made a pocket on this side. So here's one of her images. And I think there's something else in here. Oh, the Virgin Mary. There you go. Those two are in that pocket, and the other pocket's halfway in the other side. So we'll see that in a sec. And it's just gorgeous. Oh the colors and the coordinating and everything. Here is another tuck spot and here is the images. Um, I have two of these because I made two of these journals and I took out this image and this image so it wouldn't be Virgin Mary just in case it would upset someone which I don't know who it would upset but um, I made it and I'll show you that um, and in the next video will be the um, journal without the Virgin Mary and it's beautiful too but all you'd have to do is just take out two of, uh, of this two copies or two prints so it is so pretty I took flat back um, hearts and glued them to the ends of my binding if you don't like that, you could just cut that off. But there is the same image as on the front. It's just so pretty. I am so in love with this. And here is my other um, pocket. I do have a envelope I made. Let's see what's inside this one. Oh, it's a tag. So I just inked around the edges and put some lace, just a little lace and a little ink and you could call it a day. Oh, here is another tag right here. It's a large one and she made these all I did was just cut it out here is a glycine bag I made with all my scraps and it just got caught on that the glycine bag that I made and it has um, extra bookmarks in it but I even coordinated all that with it Let's stick that back well, we'll stick that back when I'm done because I don't know what happened to the um, paper clip. Oh, here it is. I think I'm going to probably use this instead. I think this will work better instead of that paper clip. And then there is the back page and see how it coordinates. 
everything matches. There's the back back cover. So there is my Virgin Mary. This is what she called it. <clears throat> uh, file um, on her her Etsy, but it's my Virgin Mary journal. So anyway, all my links are down below, and so is uh, the link for the files. So I hope you like it. I think it's beautiful. I really, I, I just, I love making journals. So anyway, have a blessed day. If you need any help getting through this, just uh, hit me up and I'll um, talk you through it, make a video, whatever you need. Okay, have a blessed day.